Alrighty guys, good afternoon. How good are we all afternoon. doing? Good afternoon. Welcome to the highly anticipated video. We told you we would be giving you a tour of the chalet, the first house we're renovating here on the property. And today is that day. Today's the day. And friends, this place hasn't been inhabited since the 20th century. <laughs> That sounds very dramatic. But the last time, I believe, to my knowledge, that somebody lived in here, it would have been 1999. So, it looks... Well... It's interesting, to say the least. It looks a little spooky, but yeah. we're going to take you in there and show you. We've got some gems to show you inside. Yes. And you did say it was spooky, but the first time I went in there, I, I, it was better than I thought it would be. Yeah, Sam okay? was like, this isn't that bad. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay, that's very optimistic. <laughs> yes, let's go with that. It, it, it's interesting for sure. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're going to give you a full tour yes. of a chalet, a place that hasn't been lived in for over 20 years. Here we go. Let's do it. <gasps> First things first, I'll let you guys know that I have been in here before, you've been in here before, and I have tidied up uh, because I had to have the roofers measuring things and also my electrician. So there were spider webs all over, like you would just walk in and they would get stuck to your face, to your arms. So what I did, I, I grabbed this squidgy I don't even know what this is called in English uh, it's for like mopping floors and like you know just pulling the water um, so I just went around like this just grabbing uh, <laughs> taking down all the and spider still webs are I could. <laughs> there's still a few but like this is amazing the first few people who came in here were not very fortunate and yeah, I think they were probably a little bit terrified. Uh, but I also cleaned the the floor area and this is the dirt that I collected. This is 20 years worth of dirt that I just uh, kind of gathered into the center. So we can see the floor. Quite sort frankly, of. I didn't know you did that. Yeah. <laughs> I was I, working on other things. Otherwise, it was just, it, it kind of looked like a horror show. So oh, yeah. this is presentable. Yeah. Um, but well, the first room we're in, this, could you call it a foyer? Mm -hmm. I suppose like an entrance room. Uh, this would be where you take off your boots, maybe leave your coat. Uh, it used to be an area that was actually open. It was like a covered terrace, but there used to be like no door, no windows, anything like that. Um, so at one point it was closed and a door was put in to have additional living space. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what this room is. And what do we have here? Uh, it looks like an old wooden frame for, for a window, old chair, some, some wine bottles, a sealed, well, there's no wine left in it, but it does oh. have the cork in. Vintage. Yeah, vintage. We've got some green, would we call this mold? Would we call it moss? I'm oh, we're gonna, sure. we're gonna call it moldy moss. Moldy, moldy, mossy walls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wooden ceiling wooden like planks an old chandelier so yeah that is the the first room here the the entrance and i suppose we should open some windows first why don't we open some windows so you can see a bit more like daylight mm -hmm. and we'll take you into the kitchen we are armed with flashlights we will be needing this so, in we go to La Kachan. Do, 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 do. Let there be light. There is light. Let's see if we go like this. Oh, yes, we can see now. Okay. It would help with the, we're still with that lantern though. So now that we've got light. Now that we have light and the flashlight, uh, let's come on in to the kitchen. So uh, right now it's kind of, well, it is what it is. What can I say? Let's give you the grand tour. 
Here we have one of those old fashioned windows to slide food from the kitchen to the dining area, a detail I am very keen to keep. I think that's super cool. And then over here, we've got the sink. Uh, there's like a kitchen cabinet, cupboards up there, drawers. Would there be anything in the drawers? Whoa. Look at that, there's cutlery. Spider webs too. There's cutlery. What else we got? Uh, plastic bags. Yeah. Oh, can't open that one. Let's see what else. What else are we gonna find? There's uh, oh, wow, a lone, lone glasses, lone cups. Look. That's a nice looking cup, to be honest. Yes, I, I remember that cup. Do you? Yes. Guys. Oh. oh, look at the spider webs. Wow. Whoa. Glasses. Oh, somebody left salt behind. <laughs> you gonna try it? <laughs> I don't think so. Huh? Yeah, so interesting fact about this house. I lived in it for a while with my family, with my parents when we first moved here. But then it was my uncle, my aunt, and my two cousins who, who lived in here. So they were the last um, residents of this house, you could say. Uh, what else do we have here? We have old furniture that I'm planning to restore. So lawnmower. Got a lawnmower, but I'm super excited for these chairs. I'm going to find um, somebody who, you know, does woodwork and upholstery. Uh, the cushions are over here. They need some TLC. And what else? We've got another cabinet area, like work station. I don't even have the right vocabulary to describe a kitchen. But that is the kitchen. Very nice ceilings, dark wood ceilings. I'd love for you to show the vintage stove. A vintage stove, which we shall also be, uh, you know, integrating cool. into the house, of course. Okay. I'd love to actually like get it working, not just as decorative, but yeah. like let's use an old-fashioned stove. Um, we we had we saw one of those when we were in Nova Scotia. Remember when we were in Tatamagoosh? Oh, we did at a museum. That was plate. No, it was in the in the cabin we stayed at the, in Tatamagoosh. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of somewhere else. Yes, <laughs> you remember? I do. <laughs> and then okay, back here we've got a door, uh, an yep. exit to the outdoors, and then back here this would be like the pantry. Um, and it's where we have our water heater, our like electric box, things like that. This is actually a bathroom. There's a toilet. Uh, would you like to see sure. or take my word for it? Let me come in and shine the light. The toilet. Can you see? Yeah. Can you see the toilet? There's a sink, guys. Yeah. And over here is the a toilet. toilet. Yeah. Yes. So. so not so much a pantry, more like a utility room. And uh, yeah, a, a toilet. Okay, so that is the kitchen. Shall we go inside to the main part? We should. Another door, another key. In we go to the main living area. Put that away. <laughs> We're gonna need some light over here. Let, let there uh, be light. Let there be light, peoples. Put two. Let's need, so need let's, both. Let's set this one. Oh, I'm so itchy. Let's set this here. And we'll turn this on. Wow. And let's open. Let me just open some windows first so you guys can see what we're getting up to in here. Wow, this, if you guys could smell. What I could smell if right now. If you could smell, if we had smell of vision, guys. If there but smell of vision, it would be quite interesting. <sighs> Ta da! Also, I believe we may have a bee infestation. <laughs> so, there's that. They're definitely inside. They're living in the roof. I can hear them, I can see them. So, something to deal with. S try not to get stung. Try not to get stung. Alrighty, friends. My, my director here says, I need a light for my face and yep. another to illuminate what I am showing you. That's right. So basically, I am now in the living dining area. So this right here where you see all these boxes, it's just pillows, blankets, towels, boxes with old magazines dating back as far as the 80s. Yeah, we're um, going to show one of those magazines. Yeah, we'll find, find one. one. There's cooking pans. Like, I found one. 
Hey, right there. Oh yeah, there's a magazine you found the other day. Look at this. Hold yeah. it up. Ta-da! Ta-da. Fashion magazine. And look, where it's, it says the date here somewhere. Oh look, right here. October 10th, 1987. There you, this is, oh yeah, you're right. And then what else do we have here? We have like old, old stoves that used to run on kerosene. So not necessarily something you'd want to be using right now. I'll show you over here. I think one of the last people that was looking after the house, oh, I'm, I'm losing my flashlight, uh, knew that there was a leaky roof. So they put a whole bunch of buckets there on the ground to collect the water that was coming in. I don't know if you can see that very Can't well. Can't see it, nope. <laughs> let, me, let me go here with can this one. Can you actually one. go there? All right, so a phone flashlight because our batteries and our flashlights are actually dying. Um, as I was saying, one of the last people, I guess, who was looking after this house knew there was a leaky roof. So they left a whole bunch of buckets to collect water. Uh, so this is what oh. has happened to the roof. You can really but see it. But worry not. The roofers have been here. This will be replaced. We are getting a new roof in. So there's that. By the way, that phone is a much better light. Is a much better light? Yeah, than, than the We have flashlight. old books. Ooh, old fashioned books. Look at that. Oh. Nice. I wonder whose books these are. If they were my grandma's, if they were my cousin's. <coughs> Encyclopedia. We do have the Encyclopedia Britannica, I believe. An mm -hmm. illustrated encyclopedia. Um, old doormats. Some Nat Geo magazines that thankfully survived the- Oh, they look in good condition. The water leakage. And what else? More heaters, uh, a broken bed with uh, old mattresses, I believe we'll have to dispose of. And just bags full of uh, bed sheets and duvets. That is essentially- Well, is that an old heater? That is an old heater. Yes, this one's an oh, electric heater. Look at that, guys. A base for a Christmas tree. <laughs> you get the vibe. It is very, very random. I suppose things that just didn't sell, things that weren't worth taking back to Canada, and yeah, things that have just been sitting here for a while. So that is the main living area. And then this is kind of like a, like a second bedroom or maybe you could call it an office or a study because there is no door. It's just like an arched doorway uh, that leads to this bedroom. When I lived in this house, it was the bedroom that my sisters and I slept in, um, but it would make a nice little office, no, a study? Oh yeah. I like it. I like the, the arch, that detail. Yes. And well, we'll continue to the master bedroom and the bathroom next. Let there be light, peoples. Okay, so we are now in the main bedroom. You could call it a master bedroom. Doesn't have an ensuite or anything. These were different times. It's an 80 year old house. Uh, but yeah, it would be the main room. What is left in here? We have a closet. We have a painting of the Virgin. We actually have a lot of paintings uh, just scattered around uh, the room. I don't know who these paintings belong to, someone in the family. Uh, we have machetes. We have uh, axes. We have uh, this for the horses. I don't know the name in English. We have maybe some old documents. There's some pictures. There are pictures. There are paintings. Paintings, I should say. Beautiful painting Whoa. by Le Goff. Le Goff. I do not know a Le Goff. Um, yeah, you know, it's just like old family heirlooms, I would imagine. Things that have probably been passed down. We have uh, some old suitcases uh, covered in, in mold. And then a night table, a lamp, an axe. And a laundry basket with folded clothes. I imagine clean clothes. I hope somebody, <laughs> somebody did laundry 20 years ago. Random collection and check out the views here. Yes. Actually, a lot of progress is being made out there. This, you couldn't even see. Yeah. Like, you couldn't, like we, we, we actually, we, we cut through that when we first came here. Yeah, 
Yeah, but our gardener, our landscaper has been busy. He's, He's been, been doing hard an awesome work. job. Awesome job. He's cleared all around the house so the roofers will be able to come in. And I suppose now I should take you to the bathroom. But first, let's look at the ceiling. We're trying to, to salvage the ceiling as much as we can. I'll replace the planks that need to go. But yeah, the idea with this renovation, I want to keep it as uh, authentic, yeah. as, as close to the original as possible in, in every regard. So that's this room. Questions? Do you have questions so far? Let us know in the comments if you have questions. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there are. <laughs> To the bathroom we go, follow along. So, it's a pretty, pretty standard bathroom for Argentina. You've got your toilet, your bidet, bathtub with shower, got the window there, the little medicine cabinet, a sink, uh, nice, uh, do you call these subway tiles, I think? Subway tiles on the floor. They're in great shape, actually. Yeah. Honestly, I thought we were gonna have to do the bathroom all over, but I really like the retro feel it has. And like yeah. the tiles are in good shape. I wouldn't mind changing the toilet. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, sure. Like <laughs> That's a little outdated. Yeah, toilets, bidet, and maybe the, the lavatory, yeah. the, the sink, yeah, that can be changed. Yeah, new shower head, we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. but pff, the bathroom isn't gonna be like a lot of work. Still gonna bring a plumber to have a look at everything, make sure, you know, the pipes are all good. Got to see the situation with the septic tank and all that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the bathroom situation. And right now it's just being used as a storage room for old kerosene heaters that were used in the hotel. Not a great method, I know, I know, but it's what was used at the time. It would make the rooms smell and the guests would complain, but like that was the way people were heating around these parts. Back in the 90s, uh, so yeah, that is the bathroom. Shall we go do some concluding thoughts outside? Yeah. So that was the tour. What did you guys think? Yeah, we're curious to know. I'm thrilled with these new scissors. Sam found duty, some new treasure. They're considerably better than the ones I've been using. I've mm. just been practicing with some sarsa. Yeah, I can't wait to use them. On that note, like speaking of scissors, I would like to clarify on the channel that we're not clearing, you can come over. We're not clearing like seven hectares, seven hectares of land using little snipping scissors. Like this is something that we do at the end of the day and it's kind of like fun gardening, but we do have professionals with real machines coming in. Cause I yeah. feel like a lot of people think we're just like snip snipping across seven hectares. And okay, Look. admittedly, we did clear a lot of the land around the house when we first got here with yeah. scissors. If we were going to do that, we'd be here for 20 years. So. <laughs> that long. <laughs> yeah, it would take a while. I get what you're saying. But um, yeah, I mean, the heavy duty stuff is being taken care of. We've, yeah. we've created, but we've done a reasonable amount of work with these little things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Believe me, they, we've put in some time. They work. But uh, they work great. And it's just, it's nice to be here and putting in the work because mm. to be honest, it just, it makes you feel more connected with the project. Yeah. So. I mean, I, we like to be here every day doing a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Whether it's pottering around in this place or out with the scissors or, you know, coordinating things. You've been doing a lot of that. Yes, these a days. lot of coordinating contractors. Electricians, roofers, roofers, all that stuff. Landscapers. Right. And just random jobbers. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to think, I'm curious to think, I'm curious to hear what you guys thought of the inside. For me, I see a lot of potential. Like when I go in there, surprisingly, I do not feel overwhelmed or horrified or, yeah. oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Yeah, me too. The condition <laughs> of the place is great. The only thing that I don't love is the, all the stuff I... I'm like a super anti-hoarder these days. Sam's so a minimalist. I want to get a lot of stuff removed. From yeah, there. but yeah. I, I will do the sorting job because I know what's... What's what? <laughs> what's what and like what might be valuable to certain relatives, what might have more of like a, an emotional or personal connection. Oh, yeah. So I we're, need to go through every item. We're not going to get rid of anything that would have sentimental value, no. but I, it's going to be nice when the place is clean and yes. we can see what we need to do exactly. And um, it's just going to be like an iceberg where we can chip away. Chip and away uh, at eventually, 
It'll be... Uh... Actually, it'll be livable. <laughs> it'll be livable. So I'll put it out there now. We are hoping to make this place livable by end of March, April. Yeah. We'll see if we're able to keep that deadline. I'm hopeful, like things are falling into place. I'm meeting the right people. It's just these people are very busy. So I'm waiting for everybody to finish a, finish a previous job ahead yeah, of what I need them to do. That's the thing, if you're a specialist in this little village, you're in high demand. Yeah. And there are new people moving in all the time and they want mm -hmm. all, all kinds of work done. So we're, we're lucky to have found some good people. Yes. And uh, yeah, there's no pressure, we're just chipping away. Chipping you know, away. If progress is being made, then then we're both happy. Yeah. We're, we're both like very calm and relaxed about this. I mean, if you came in here with a with a hyper like attitude, it, it would be a nightmare. So mm -hmm. we're just coming in relaxed. Yeah. Make a little progress, see what happens, right? Yeah. That's the thing. I think that's all we've got to say. Well, if you want to see how this whole project unfolds and the rest of the houses and the hotel yeah. and the landscaping, you know what to do. Give it a like, hit yep. that subscribe button, little bell. We'll let you know when there's new videos. We'll also be doing travel videos. We yes. haven't forgot about the supermarket <laughs> tour either. So yeah. we're gonna uh, try to keep some variety on the channel. Yeah. But we'll have yeah, lots of lots of updates from the house as mm -hmm. well. So that's what we're up to. And uh hope you guys have a, a great weekend. Great weekend. Enjoy. Enjoy. Till next time. Ta-ta. Ta -ta.